a dual Group 1 winning juvenile by Street Cry from the immediate family of Invincible Spirit and Kodiak, Pride of Dubai is sure to appeal to European breeders. On only his second start, he was sent to Melbourne for the five and a half furlong Group 3 Blue Diamond Prelude. He's a beautiful horse, this. Uh, yeah, it just really grabs your eye in the yard and he hasn't turned a hair, really. Looks fantastic. Pride of Dubai here for, for Team Snowden. You're right, you told us this morning he's a, he's a smart looker, and he, and he certainly is, but it's not a beauty contest, he's got to go and do it. Yeah, that's right, it's only half the, half the battle with the looks in it, so he's got to uh, show us what he's been doing at home on race day now. Pride of Dubai starts to storm home on the outside, of the Bravers all out, will he hang on? Or oh, maybe just fell in, but Pride of Dubai really launched late. A fortnight later, he was stepped straight up to Group 1 level for the six furlong blue diamond stakes. He gets a few things wrong, this bloke. He's not totally um, street smart about it all yet, but the raw talent's there to win a race like this. Yeah, he's a super talent. Um, probably the most upside out of any here. Pride of Dubai, serious upside, serious talent. I love number seven, Paul's horse, Pride of Dubai. He's lovely, relaxed colt, and he, he just cruises around out the back. He comes into the mounting yard. He doesn't turn a hair. He looks terrific. Million dollar blue diamond stakes. We're right to run for Victoria's premier juvenile event. They're all in the stores. Racing in the diamond. He travelled strongly into the straight before being badly hampered just inside the furlong marker. Pride of Dubai crept for a run. It comes now. Here's Rima storming home. Pride of Dubai, Fonaton, Rima. Rima storming up to Pride of Dubai. They come down to fight it out. They hit the line. Pride of Dubai just held on and won. Pride of Dubai strong through the wire runs an absolute blind here to win the diamond and Peter Paul Snowden of course who won it a couple of times in their former life at uh, at Daly which is now Godolphin of course win it here win great style. Fonaton clearly had its chance not looking for excuses here and the strong street cry cult homebred for Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa comes out the winner here Gator and uh, what a race. Serious talent, this bloke, he would have been a moral beaten if he didn't get up. He upped an early Pratt, he missed the run at a key stage, still had the audacity to surge through and then defy Rima, who was full of momentum. An outstanding win from an outstanding talent. I can't wait to see his guy's career unfold. Six weeks later, he went up to seven furlongs and again proved superior to all of his rivals. Always Allison in front from English and Pride of Dubai. Regis is closing up well with Odyssey Moon and Tarquin. A great finish in the sires. And Regis bursts through the centre. And Regis races to the lead from Pride of Dubai. Then Odyssey Moon, Tarquin and Pasadena Girl. Pride of Dubai is coming back on Regis. It's Pride of Dubai lifting in the sires. And Pride of Dubai will go on and win it. Pride of Dubai, first and foremost, he's by, he's by street cry and he's out of a Dane Hill mare. He's a, he's a very, very good looking horse. He was very, very precocious and he, he, hold, he holds his own record, I suppose, having won the, the Blue Diamond Stakes. And, you know, he backed up and he won the, he won the Group 1 English Sires uh, race in Sydney. I was actually down in Sydney at the sales and we were all sort of going through the barns and looking at the yearlings doing up our lists and whatever. But, but everybody sort of stopped to watch that race, that Sires race. And the way he won it was nothing short of exceptional, really. I mean, he fought right through the line and he hit the line and went, went through it with, with huge courage and ability. I've been going to Australia for the last five years now, two or three times a year. And a couple of years ago, I was down there. The only horse that was on everyone's lips was Pride of Dubai. So I really was fascinated to understand why he was such a big name. I went to see the horse in the paddock and I could understand immediately what everyone was talking about. He's a beautiful horse, very, powerful, strong horse, mid-sized, and I think it'd suit any shape man. You know, as far as his relevance in Europe, he's, he's obviously from the family of Invincible Spirit and, and Kodiak, that, that does it itself really. It was actually unfortunate that he got injured after that, and I think anyone who speaks to Peter Snowden, who trained him, you know, you automatically see the, the, the sort of array of emotions he goes through when he talks about the horse. When, when you mention the horse's name, his face lights up, he smiles, and as he continues to talk about him, he almost, you know, transfers into into a into an emotion of uh, heartbreak because there was a hell of a lot more to come from this horse prior to his injury. And he's a gorgeous-looking horse. And I think uh, I think when the European breeders, especially, see this horse down in, in Featherton to Prairie, they're going to be blown away by him. He's 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 got size. He's got balance. He's very very straightforward, confirmationly, 
uh, and he walks, he's great use of his shoulder, he's a, he's a fabulous looking animal. I think he's one for the future that could work in both hemispheres, so bring him on. Great advantage with a host like Pride of Dubai. The trainer told me that he clocked him very, very early on. He said, look, I've, this horse was really doing things before he should have been doing them. And when he can win two group ones, six furlongs, seven furlongs, in an unbelievably competitive environment, overcoming trouble in running, he was just very, very special. He was different, he was different. So all in all, with a pedigree ability and um, looks like that, I will be certainly sending plenty of nice mares and clients' mares to the horse.